This is the latest pond we've done, approximately 8 meters by 2.3 meters by 0.6 meters deep. It's meant to be a reflecting pool, as you can see. You can pretty much see the sky in it. It's nice and calm. It's not filled quite full yet because um, we're still waiting for the cement to harden on the tops. But uh, by the end of the week, it should be fully filled up. Look nice. To construct this pond, first of all, we dug a hole, which is generally a good start when you're digging a pond. Um, we dug it slightly bigger than we needed to, and then we put a concrete slab in. Obviously, put it in wet, leveled it out in the bottom. And then we built up a blockwork wall with medium density blocks on the inside of the pond. Put the liner in over underlay and then built up the outside of the wall with reclaimed housing stone. The cap and stone on the top of the pond was from border stone in Holt Whistle and is buff cut sandstone. The liner we've used is 1 mil butyl rubber over 300 grams per square meter underlay, it's a polyester underlay. The filters in this pond are two Oase Filtral 5000s, all in one self-contained filters. Each one has an 11 watt UV, so this pond should stay crystal clear. We were held up pretty badly on this job, we started it in November. But uh, then we had a, at least six weeks of really heavy frost and also deep snow as well, which put a stop to it because obviously we couldn't cement when things were that bad. It's difficult to see how long this job took. It took about ten times longer than it should have because of the really bad weather. But um, ideally, from beginning to end, it would have taken a couple of weeks. But it took probably nearer two months because we had such bad weather.